Hi there friends, welcome to a show's easy video. Glad you're here. And before we get a chance to start the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you know you want to. Hi friends, this is Shozy and I really wanted to show you my harvest dolls. Um, let's get into this really quick. Okay. <laughs> as these go a little nuts. Let me see if I can tone that down a little bit. There we go. All right. This one is Chloe. She's an older generation, our generation doll, and they're all customized. They all have their nails done, their makeup done, their hair is specialized. Um, she was a thrifty find, and so was Cinnamon back here. And they all have um, new coats on these coats I had to bid on it was like a bidding war it was crazy but anyway um the coats are magnificent uh and then this is Coco her name was Haven I loved her name but I had to change her name because they're harvest girls so um she has a really adorable raspberries kids which she doesn't go by that anymore she has another a, a shop an etsy shop she used to be on ebay and this was a dress that she made um and then the coat now of course it has all these little pieces on it and things like that you can't really see it's hidden i don't want to move her because i don't want her to fall um but i you know put this really cute this was this was on on um uh, Z, zero, my kitty one time. And it came off of, I don't remember where it came off of. It came off of a doll, I think. All right. So anyway, then here is Cinnamon and her hair is really tightly, um, uh, braided around her head. She has like a French braid all the way around her head. And there was this piece that I just kind of, uh, twisted and tucked up underneath her uh, to give her kind of like a, just a piece that comes down. And then she's got flowers in her hair. And she has this, this is like a baby dress, I think. But it fits my dolls really nicely. Um, my 18 inch dolls. So I just kind of left it um, in their wardrobe. And this is magnificent, this, this piece. You can tell it's like dishcloths and all kinds of things here. And then here is, of course, Honey, and um, she is a brand new um, Our Generation doll, and she has an older dress, an older polka dotted dress um, with her coat on. Her hand is wrapped around the, um, the uh, uh, walking bridge, and I put glasses on her because she just seemed like she would wear glasses. Um, her lips are glossed and she does have some makeup on, but not a huge amount because she looked really cute as she was. Um, same with Coco. She's brand new too. But um, this is the walking bridge that I made from an old teak chair. And I didn't like the way I had painted it originally. So I went back and I think I'd, I don't know if I stained it or something. I think I stained it and I didn't like it. So I went back and I repainted it the screen and I like it a lot better. Um, it needed something to make it pop a little bit. You can tell I did something with it or I banged it on something right there. Um, but anyway, then I wrapped these micro lights around part of it because here's the box it's just battery operated and then I got some little pieces this is from the dollar store I think that might have been from the dollar store I'm not sure and then I made these little um I found a stick in the backyard that I kept cutting up and I made these little crocheted pumpkins and this guy came from the dollar store I think this is a thrifty find this one I made um and this one this one came maybe from the dollar store. And this one came from Walmart. I know that. And so did this, so did these lights. These came from Walmart too. They're actually, these right here, they were $5, which I thought was kind of a lot, <laughs> but I, I thought they were a lot less for some reason. And then when I checked out, I was like, what, how much were those? But it was okay. It worked out and they don't turn off. You have to actually take the, um, take one of the batteries out see 
like I just did, in order to turn them off. The switch does not turn them off. But, and I love um, uh, pussy willows. And these were pink pussy willows because my mom used to always stop by the side of the road, have uh, my dad stop, and she'd collect these. <laughs> and they weren't that fuzzy either. Um, but they were pretty cool and they were always brown. Uh, I don't remember seeing them in any other color when I was a kid. But she would collect those and put them in vases when we got home. And that was her big thing. Every year she would collect those. I guess they didn't last very long. Or, she, or they would molt or whatever. She'd get rid of them. But these are the four. These are my four Harvest Girls. And I just wanted to, to show them to you. Because um, they're going to stay in these clothes for probably forever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But I really like them, and they've been sitting here since for two months, dressed, and um, I just wanted to finally take some photographs and put them up on IG since today's November 30th. I don't know when this video, video will get uploaded, but, and I have to just disassemble all of this. <laughs> so, anyway, all right, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you like these girls. Um, it's the first time I've really, um, put together four OG girls. So that's kind of cool. And um, sometimes I see these guys used for $1.49 at the thrift store. And I passed up two of them that were blonde. And I thought, guy, why did I do that? Because I can always use them to make into something else. Um, so that was really silly when I when I passed them up. Um, and now they're coming out with a new sculpts, although they look exactly the same, which they should have some variation, but whenever you find them, you should pick them up because they can, you know, their hair can be trimmed a little bit and, and they're really good. They're really cute dolls. All right. Take care, you guys. And now it's winter. Well, tomorrow will be. <laughs> Bye. Here's the front part of the walking bridge, or the side part of it, actually. Um, for many of you who have seen this walking bridge before, this was, um, I had my Star Trek dolls on it. <laughs> and that was a long time ago. Uh, there's a video with them on this exact walking bridge. They were locating a Tribble, I think. And, um, but here's... That was a blast from the past, huh? Here's um, Coco and Clove on the front. And there are the uh, micro lights they're on. And um, those micro lights are kind of awesome. But uh, there they are. I don't want to talk too much, but you can kind of get an idea. And here's the back view or uh, them coming off of the bridge, if you will, of... Um, um, I want to call her Holly for some reason instead of Honey, but here's Honey, and her, her real name is Millie, if you're looking for this particular doll, um, because she was brand new, the blonde, Honey, and then uh, Cinnamon. And this to me almost looks like a candid shot, you know, for some reason. I like this shot a lot. My thought processes <clears throat> for these girls, um, these autumn or harvest girls, was just basically, um, I, it just came to mind that I, I just wanted to, to put together four dolls that represented um, like the leaves, the colored leaves of autumn and fall. And um, because we don't get those colors here in, mid or southern Arizona up in the north they do but not in because I live in the more desert part of Arizona we do have uh, snow in Arizona of course up, up near the Grand Canyon and up northern in the northern parts of Arizona but where I live it's more desert and clay and and uh, that sort of thing because um, like you know, even if, as you go west toward California, you're going into the uh, Painted Desert and into the Petrified Forest, and so you really see the desert out there. But, um, you know, where I, where I live particularly, you don't, you don't get the colors of fall. 
Um, it, say, it stays the same year round pretty much. Um, so I, I have cacti in my yard and I have some trees, but I just don't get any of the, of the colors of fall. So it's nice um, to think of when I live back east and, you know, in different parts of the country, um, the, the really pretty colors of fall. And I just thought, you know, this would be nice to, to bring them out once a year and to, um, you know, kind of celebrate that season because it's just, I think, incredibly beautiful. I don't know what your thoughts are, but I, that's what my thoughts were. <laughs> so thank you for watching and for subscribing, for liking this um, video, for giving a thumbs up, for sharing it, for... Um, leaving prudent comments and for hitting the notification bell and take care.